the open town hall or the virtual town hall, excuse me, for Proposition 435, the Expenditure Limitation Base Adjustment. Um, my name is Jessica Drum. I am the Public Affairs Director. Um, and today I am also joined um, by city staff members who will actually give the presentation. We have Brandy Suda, who is our Revenue Director, Rick Tatter, the Management Services Director, and Stacey Fobar, our um, Deputy City Clerk. So today's presentation will, or today's um, town hall, excuse me, will begin with a brief presentation by Brandy, Brandy that will cover the overview of the um, what the expenditure limitation base adjustment is and what the city's asking, what information is on is necessary um, to provide us some good background for that proposition on the ballot on August 4th. Um, and a couple of rules of brief rules of engagement. If you look at your screen across the um, lower center, there should be um, the toolbar that shows you how to mute yourself, um, use the camera, those sorts of things. There's also a um, like a chat message. So if you have questions um, that you'd like to ask, if you could use that chat function to indicate that, either typing a cue or a question, um, and then the clerk can call on you to um, to present those questions to to Brandy and to Rick and to the other subject matter experts as we um, once the presentation is over. Um, thank you so much. And are there any questions before we before Brandy starts the presentation? Jessica, this is Stacy. I just want yes. to let everyone know that I have started recording this meeting, so you oh, are yes. currently I'm being so recorded. Sorry. I forgot to mention that. So the meeting will be recorded um, so that we can use it for uh, to share with other folks who may not be able to make the times of one of the virtual presentations. So you can see that there should be a bar, a purple bar across the top of your screen that says the meeting is being recorded. Um, and that, again, that's just for us to be able to share with others so that they can hear the presentation um, and the types of questions that constituents um, typically have. So. Thank you so much for taking the time today to join us. And Brandy, I will pass over to you to give the presentation. Thank you, Jessica. Good morning, everybody. Uh, and thank you again for attending this virtual town hall on Proposition 435, Expenditure Limitation Base Adjustments. I do have a short presentation on the what and why of Proposition 435 to help you make an informed decision on this year's ballot question. What is an expenditure limitation? An expenditure limitation was established in 1980 as an amendment to the Arizona State Constitution and is part of state law. It is adjusted annually by inflation and population growth, and it is a dollar limit on how much the city can spend each year, each fiscal year. The current city expenditure limitation for fiscal year 2020-2021 is just under $169 million. And the projection without the increase for fiscal year 2021-2022 is and just under $174 million. What is the expenditure limitation base adjustment? It is a permanent increase in the expenditure limitation amount and requires voter approval. One key point is the city is required by state statute to phrase the ballot question in $1980 and a $4 million increase in $1980 translates to in 2022 dollars to a $30.9 million increase to an estimated total expenditure limitation for the city of just under $205 million. Again, this is required by state statutes. It allows the city to spend revenues it collects to maintain the level of service it provides now and to deliver capital projects. An increase in the expenditure limitation gives the city the ability to budget and spend revenues that have been approved, either by the voters or by council, 
a voter approved sales tax increase does not automatically increase the expenditure limitation. Those are both separate um, questions that must be asked of the voters. The city has had two previous elections on the expenditure limitation that have passed. One in 1980 for a $1.9 million increase. I'm sorry, one in 1988 for a $1.9 million increase and in 2006 for a $5.5 million increase. What is it not? It is not a tax increase. This proposition does not approve any future increases in taxes, in city taxes, or other fees and revenues. It does not allow for the spending of resources that the city has not collected. The city will continue to have a balanced budget. It does provide the authority to spend those revenues as they are available. And normal revenue or normal budgeting processes and constraints will continue to be applied. Why Proposition 435 now? The city has experienced growth better than the annual expenditure limitation increases for things such as our new road repair street safety program that went into effect in 2015, our new parking district program that went into effect in fiscal year 2017, and most recently our new loan tree overpass capital project where we started collecting those revenues in fiscal year 2020. We've seen a large increase in our pension costs related to public safety, as well as increased costs related to water, wastewater and stormwater projects and services. It allows capacity to spend within our approved and balanced budget. If the expenditure limitation is not increased at some point, the city will continue to collect revenues. However, it will need to limit spending on our approved capital projects and the city may see revenues such as sales tax or other revenues accumulate in cash balances and fund balances to have to um, delay spending those um, cash balances until um, expenditure limitation capacity is available. That is the end of my presentation. So I will open it up for questions but please um, feel free to call or email me. My information is available there on the screen. Um, if you have any further questions um, after this town hall and presentation, thank you. Just a reminder, if you have any questions, please go ahead and list them in the chat. Brandy, I'm not seeing any questions uh, so far. Let's give it a couple more moments. If you're having any problems with the chat and you'd like to just uh, ask a question at this point, please do. Right. Yes, you could also unmute your mic if you'd like to uh, voice a question for the group. All right, Brandy, I'm not seeing any questions still. Um, perhaps for people who are just joining us now, we should probably tell them when the next uh, expenditure limit uh, town hall will be. Um, just because I know that they've missed the presentation at this point. Yes, so we do um, have one more virtual town hall on July 27th. Um, I'm one second till I find what time that is at. Um, I believe it's in the afternoon. 
So on July 27th at 1 p.m., we will have another virtual town hall while I will be providing this um, same presentation with opportunities for any questions um, our constituents may have regarding Proposition 435. Um, we will have these presentations also available on the election website um, so people can come back and watch and reference them in the future. Any other questions, um, Stacy, that you're seeing? Uh, we have none in the chat. Um, if anyone does have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself. I know that we have none in the chat. And if not, I think uh, at this point we should probably close the opportunity for questions. OK, I'm hearing no questions, Brandy. OK, well, thank you all for it again for attending. Um, and please um, reach out to me with that the information information on your screen if you have any um, further questions related to this proposition. Great. Thank you all and have a great day. Thank you.